Hi everyone, hope you're doing well. I invite you to find a comfortable seat. Close your eyes, take a deep breath. And another one. We bring shoulders up to ears and then shrug them down. And again, shoulders up and roll them back down. Maybe wiggling shoulder blades on your back. We're going to rub palms together and begin to have one hand wash the other, massaging the body, squeezing muscles in the arms and rubbing low back, hips, legs, squeezing calves, arch of the foot. Bringing our attention to the crown of our head, maybe tapping there or running our fingers through our hair if that's accessible. I've heard this called 10 dragons run through the forest. And grabbing our ears and pulling, giving our earlobes a massage. Maybe rubbing with our hands up and down in our ears, massaging the jaw with the knuckles. So much tension that we can hold there. And then maybe giving a tap to the base of the neck. Being mindful of our cervical spine and gentle with ourselves. And then returning to our comfortable seat in our breath, noticing if anything changed in the few moments since we started our practice. Inhale to take a deep breath in, exhale, let it out. Inhale, arms open wide, reaching heart up to the sky. Exhale, rounding spine, resting fingertips on the ground in front of us. Inhale, turning palms up, arms stretched away from each other on either side of us, maybe slightly behind. Exhale, rounding forward. Let's inhale both palms up, gazing between the hands, exhale, twisting gently to the left and placing right hand on left knee, left hand on the earth, slightly behind me. Inhale, both arms up, exhale, twisting in the other direction, left palm finds right knee, right hand rests on the earth behind me. And then from here, we can give some love to our, our core, rubbing that with our hand in one direction and the other, placing one hand on our belly, one hand on our heart. Inhale to feel the lift of our hands with the breath. Exhale to let something go. And then I invite us to hold our right lower extremity from right foot to right knee, kind of like a baby, and rock it gently. Breathing here, giving some self-love, placing it back down, also gently on the ground. Taking a moment to bring our souls together. I love it when our souls are together. And to open your feet like a book, maybe massaging the weather-worn pages therein. And then let's get our right leg comfortable as we pick up our left leg and again rock it gently like a baby. Giving self-love. Practicing self-love. Usually we're so good at beating ourselves up we don't need anyone else to throw their hat in the ring. And then from here, I'm going to inhale, swimming my hands behind me, palm, meaning palm interlacing fingers, pulling shoulder blades together and down the back. Inhale to look up, exhale, hands pull away, maybe tucking the chin. Taking a few breaths here, squeezing out that tension that we tend to hold between our shoulder blades. 
and then releasing, shaking out the arms. Okay. Shaking out. Shake it if you got it. And then from here, coming on to hands and knees. Taking a breath, making circles with our whole body in one direction before pausing slightly and then moving in the other direction. And then swing side to side, preparing to give some love to our shoulders. Inhaling right arm up, exhale to thread the needle, resting right side of head on the ground and right shoulder. Finding a comfortable place for that left hand. Mine is on the outside of my right hip. And let's take a few breaths here. Feeling tension melt through that right shoulder. Feeling the support of the earth rising up to meet us. And inhaling, placing left palm back down. Inhaling right fingertips skyward. Let's do the same on the other side. Inhaling left fingertips skyward. Exhale to thread the needle, resting on left side of face and left shoulder. Notice like if anything's different on this side. I'm going to keep my right arm down because that feels comfortable for me. Breathing here. Feeling our body melt down more with each breath. Maybe feeling how our pelvis can stretch out in this pose. And then coming into a puppy pose of sorts. I'm going to rest on my forearms and tuck my toes. Resting my head down. And then placing palms on the earth, I'm going to put my weight into my toes and hover my knees a few inches off the ground here. Inhaling and exhaling. And then returning to a comfortable seat, wrapping up a simple yoga practice in bed here with the final days before the twins arrive. I invite us to inhale to gather up all of the energy that we've cultivated, all of the intention, all of the awareness and mindfulness. And then our next breath, we can bring our palms together above the head, exhaling and Anjali Mudra, hands meet in front of the heart. I just wanted to reflect that parenting like practicing medicine is so humbling and requires such presence, um, which in uh, another word for that being mindfulness and meditation. So um, I hope that wherever you are in your personal and professional life that you uh, can appreciate amidst the muck and the mud and the demands, um, appreciate the, the practice, the, the, need to be present and open because the moment that we think that we've got a handle on it that's when that's when our our teachers um, be them people that we work with or our children will definitely show us otherwise and from my heart to yours May you feel loved, may you be safe, may you be free from harm. Namaste.